Hi, my name is Nate Sund uh, from South Fort Myers High School, home of the Wolfpack, uh, Fort Myers, Florida. I'm going to talk to you today about the 4-2-5 defense and why we don't call it a 4-4 defense. Uh, the reason being is, is, I guess I lied in the beginning, I call it a hybrid 4-4. The reason why is it, it's predicated on these two young men right here. Uh, we are fortunate enough to have uh, a good amount of athletes and we want to use that to our strength. Uh, these two gentlemen here have to be both a DB at times and both an outside linebacker at times. Depending on the set we get up front, dictates whether they're going to be close to the line of scrimmage in that 4-4 look or if we're going to drop them off into maybe our uh, cover three, our cover four, our quarter package, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, depending on the set, uh, for example, if we have a split back set, which we saw in the playoffs, we're able to stay in our 4-4 look. Okay, we let these guys eat. Uh, I don't put pressure on them. Uh, with every set that we have, we have the ability to get into multiple coverages, uh, and it really doesn't affect us one way or the other. If, you know, stopping the run versus the pass, we're able to do both staying from this set, only because of the personnel that they show outside wide. Uh, so these guys in this set here, typically going to be a flat player. I'm going to let them be a hard run read first and then bail to the flats. This sets up for our, our, quarter, through, our quarter package and also our, uh, our cover three package. Um, now, if we're in a one back set, in that gun or uh, the read zone or everything everybody gets, depending, uh, we'll game plan with this. If we feel that we have a speed option threat, then we're going to leave him close to the line of scrimmage to take that away. Otherwise, we're going to let him drop back, maybe roll up into a cover two shell, which I'll show later in a different video, or uh, we'll go and uh, bring him up to the line, like I said, and drop the other one back. We have a lot of different uh, things that we can do. Uh, I really feel as though with the six men up front, it takes less pressure. We know that we have to be that outside force. It takes less pressure um, off of these guys in the passing game. It lets them really read hard run reads, and then we'll cover them up in the passing game as much as we can.